Welcome to this video on how to use your shortcuts cancellations feature. Cancellations allows you to securely hold your client's payment card details against their profile in shortcuts, ready to charge the cancellation fee in the event that they cancel or no show to their appointment. Now to get started, we first need to collect your client's payment details to keep them on file. Now the great news is that this is done at your discretion by only sending the card file requests to those clients you wish to receive it. So that could be all of your clients or a particular group of clients, like new clients, for example. So also, once a client is on that list of cancelled bookings for the day, you also have the control of whether to charge the full amount, change the amount, or even waive the fee if you wish to. Now, first, head up to your appointment book, and you will notice that when you tap on an appointment and bring up the touch tip, so I'm just going to do that in Chris's column now, you will see that there's an extra tab for pay, um, payment card. If we just click on payment card, you see we have two options, one for cancellations and one on our system here also for cardless checkout. Now the cardless checkout, in case you're wondering, is our new Uber style payment type, um, which is when a client wants to opt into cardless checkout. So what they can do is have their card stored on file and then very easy, they don't need to come to the, uh, the checkout to pay for their bill. They can just do that then remotely. And if you're interested in that, please go and watch our other video on Cardless Checkout. But for today, I'm going to be sending the request from the cancellations button. So I'm just going to press on cancellations. Now you will notice that the appointment now has gone half orange. This just indicates that we're waiting for the client to submit their card details and also opt into your um, cancellations terms and conditions if you do have cardless checkout enabled they will also have the option to um, opt into that as well with that message and vice versa if you decide you want to go you're going to send out the cardless checkout uh, request they will then also have the option to opt into your cancellations policy now when a client does reply and their um, card is stored on file now that's stored on file um, and it's encrypted you don't have access to the actual card details so it's very secure for your clients when they do you'll notice that we do have the lime green here on the appointment in the center now this is just so it's nice and easy for you at a glance just to be able to see that the client has opted into those cancellation um, policy de um, terms and conditions sorry and that they have submitted their card now, if I want to then delete an appointment, I can just do that. I can just click on Emma there and we can go down to delete there at the bottom. Now, if you're doing anything else with this appointment, like rescheduling or changing the service, please use the correct actions here rather than deleting and um, sort of working through that cancellations sort of option just to do one of the other two things here. So you can either do that by right clicking as I did or through the touch tip as well. Um, the three dots and you get the options here as well for some other actions so if i just go through and delete the appointment there you can see that we have a little um, sort of indicator of how much this is going to be we're just going to pop a uh, a note in here to charge i'm going to say it's client cancellation but you do have the option there for no show as well now that's disappeared from the screen. So it's up to you when you action any of these cancellations on the list, whether you want to do them as you go along, you can do them at the end of the day, you can do them tomorrow. It's up to you really. I'm just going to select on menu and then you can see the third option down says cancellations. So here's your cancellation. You can see it was deleted. Uh, notice given was 20 hours. Now if I select on that booking there, that's um, down at the bottom, you can see that we have just a little bit more information. We also have the note that I popped in there. So the value of the appointment, you can see that the fee is $12. And then it's up to you whether you want to charge cancellation or to waive that cancellation. You can also click there and change that amount as well. So whatever you want to do, you can just go ahead, tick the box, press proceed down at the bottom. And that's just going to let you know that you're going to go ahead and charge that fee. And that's it. It's all done for you. So I um, hope you have fun using this feature and you find it very easy to use. Thank you for joining me.